What is up guys, my name is Roy and welcome to my channel. Now, today I'm really excited slash anxious slash a little bit irritated because this is actually the second time that I have made this video. So last weekend I filmed a video, It's this is an ASOS try on unpacking haul video. Last weekend I filmed this and as it turns out about half the stuff that I ordered did not fit me. Now ASOS is an online retailer for clothing and accessories and shoes and that type of thing. They're based in the UK but they do have a presence here in the United States so that's really nice because you can order things and it's not going to take a week or two to get to you. It actually gets to you within a couple of days. I really like the website, the design of the website, the layout of the website. They have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of brands that are just really great. The designs are great, the prices are great, the shipping is free if you order you know, above a certain reasonable amount. The returns are free and the, and the process for returning, it is simple but at the same time it is still a little bit frustrating, just, just the process of returning something which is precisely why I do not like ordering things online. I don't like ordering things and buying things that I have not tried on, that I don't know what my size is because with brands nowadays, the sizing is just all over the place and I don't understand it. I don't want know why a medium can't just be a medium and a large just can't be a large and an extra large just can't be an extra large. Why they don't standardize that, I don't understand. But ASOS, they, they give you this tool that really did build some confidence in me and gave me the confidence to order these things sort of sight unseen and untried on. And they, they call it a fit assistant and they basically take all your attributes. So your age, your height, your weight, basically your general physical stature, whether you're a little bit broader in the shoulders or you know whether you like your clothing to be a little bit loose or a little bit tight or just average fitting. They take all these attributes and they build a profile for you so that when you find something that you want to order, it basically recommends the size for you to get. So last week I ordered all the stuff that I wanted to get and I ordered the sizes that it recommended me to get. And in many cases they were extra larges, which seemed okay because when I'm here shopping at Zara or H&M or any type of those fast fashion retailers, they I, I tend to buy extra larges. So I didn't really think anything was wrong. So I ordered a bunch of stuff, it was all extra large, and honestly more than half of it was just way too big. I had to send half of it back. It was just it was just not a good first experience. So I went back in, I checked my attributes in this fit assistant, and as it turns out, everything was correct. The stuff was just too big. So I had to go back into the fit assistant and sort of redo some of my attributes so I could trick the system into giving me the next size down when I went to reorder things. So finally, I got everything in order, uh, everything is received, and now it's time to refilm this with the proper sizes. I'm gonna show you what I got, I'm gonna try it on, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna wear it, all coming up right now. So first up, I got a jacket from G-Star. So this, first of all, G-Star is a brand that I really like. I think the quality is really nice. I think the designs are really, really nice. Um, and I needed a jacket. I haven't bought a jacket in the last like two or three years, so it was time to sort of upgrade. I have my, the one jacket that I tend to wear is now ripped in the lining, and so it was just like, you know, I can't wear that anymore. So I needed a jacket. And this is a sort of dark navy blue G-Star jacket with, it's got like the contrast denim, panels on the front and carried through onto the onto the hood. It's got the adjustable toggles for the hood as well. It's padded and this the weight of this is actually really nice. I think this is going to be good for fall and spring. And honestly, I could probably get away with this on some winter days when it's not too too cold, but um, the size of this looks exactly right. This is an extra large and this looks like like it's going to fit me perfectly so let's see uh, let's see how it looks yeah guys I gotta say in terms of the fit this is exactly right for me it's not too tight in the pits and in the arms. I tend to have problems in my shoulders, in my arms, because I have 
sort of broader shoulders and but I don't like a lot of the poof down by the waist so I have to buy a smaller size but then stuff up top doesn't fit me when I do you know this chicken dance so the size of this is right the material on this feels really expensive I think I honestly I don't remember how much this was but I think it was about $190 so it is an expensive jacket what's well, not super expensive but it's not cheap this is not an inexpensive jacket and it doesn't feel cheap that's the that's the key point like this feels the material feels really nice there's a couple of threads that I'm gonna clip off but I think that's just part of the manufacturing process so I'm super super happy with this I love the color and I'm definitely gonna be wearing this a lot all right guys next up is a white round neck cotton t-shirt again by G star um, I do like this brand I like the construction and quality that they do with this. So this is, again, just a plain white t-shirt. I'm wearing a plain white t-shirt, so I, I clearly like <laughs> I like the plain, classic, essential, basic kind of look. So this was one of the items that I ordered in the incorrect size last week. I ordered an extra large and it was huge. It was like a poncho, I don't understand. This is a large and this looks exactly right for me. So so this is a white t-shirt you wear with everything. It's it's. It goes with jeans, it goes with shorts, it goes you know, with, with khakis. I mean, this is what you wear underneath of anything or you just wear it plain. So this size looks great, let's try it on. So I really like this shirt. Uh, again, in the arms and in the shoulders, it's perfect. It's not tight, it's not pulling anywhere. Um, I think the length might actually be a tiny, tiny bit too long. I don't know if you can... It's a tiny, the length is a tiny bit too long, so I'm probably gonna take this to the tailor and just have them hem the bottom like an inch because it should come to about where your knuckle is on your thumb and it's coming down to like my knuckles on like my middle finger. So um, it's a little bit long in the length, but otherwise I love it. So next up, this is the exact same t-shirt as the white shirt that I just tried on, except in a navy blue. So again, it's got this round neck, 100% cotton. I bought this because the color is actually really, really nice. So most navy blues are so dark that they're almost black and you can't really tell the difference. This is actually like a true blue. It looks blue when you wear it, so um, no one's gonna confuse it for anything else. It should fit me the exact same as the white one, but let's double check. So yeah, the fit is exactly the same. I have the same problem with this, um, where everything really fits perfectly up here. It's just maybe an inch too long in the length, but that's fine. That's 10 bucks at a tailor, and then it'll be perfect. All right, guys, next up is a crew neck, uh, drop shoulder, oversized short sleeve sweatshirt. Did I get that all? Yes, I did. I really like short sleeve sweatshirts for some reason. Like they're, they're just, they're really comfortable in the winter time and honestly like my forearms aren't cold in the winter time and when i feel like i when i wear a full sweatshirt i feel like i'm wearing like something very heavy and something very just like substantial and i don't like that i really like short sleeve sweatshirts and you you don't find them a lot but um asos this is actually asos branded this is a size large it is oversized so it is going to be a little bit bigger on me it's not going to be quite so fitted but i like that in a sweatshirt it's this you know plain classic gray so it goes with everything i'm going to wear this with jeans i'm going to wear it with jogging pants you know this is this is going to be comfortable fall and winter wear let's try it on You know what guys i know this is oversized but it is a tiny bit big in the shoulders when you actually look at where the seam ends 
um, it comes off of my shoulder. So it's a tiny bit big, but you know what? I don't wanna go through the hassle of returning this because it's totally wearable as is, as an oversized piece. So it is something I'm gonna keep, but it's, it's something I'm gonna wear in the fall and the winter just to run around, run errands in. It's super comfortable, super soft, uh, and I'll definitely wear it a lot. All right, guys, next up is a crew neck drop shoulder color block sweater from G-Star. And I will, I will say this, I did not realize, and it didn't really come out very clear on the website that it does say raw across the front. I typically don't like when there are logos or branding across the front of something this big, but it's so subtle that you honestly don't even see it unless you're really looking for it. So it doesn't bother me at all. This color block design, I love, I love, I love. I love color block because it's so classic. And this combination is great. It's got this black on the bottom, the white stripe in the middle, and then this sort of burgundy wine color on top. Um, it is G-Star, like I said. So this is you know, a brand that I really like the design of their clothes and the quality of their clothes. And this feels very nice. This was about $119, I believe. I can never have too many sweaters for the fall and winter, so uh, let's try this one on. Yeah, again guys, this is actually similar to that oversized gray sweatshirt that I just tried on where the seams do come off my shoulders just a little bit. So this is probably one size too big, but I actually think I can fix this at the tailor and I don't want to go through the hassle of returning this, especially I think the next size down they didn't even have in stock. So I might not even be able to get the proper size in this, but I still really like the shirt. Um, the length is actually really good. The sleeves are good. The fit overall is very nice. It's not, I'm not constricted in any way. Um, and again, it's this color block design that is not really gonna go out of style within a season or two. So I think this is great. All right, next up, we have a denim shirt from Berska. Uh, this is a size large. This is an animal print. It's like this olive green and black uh, animal print pattern, which I really like because I have like I said, most of my wardrobe is very plain and to have just a couple of things in it that have colors and patterns, that's what you pair with the more classic plain looks, like plain jeans or khakis or you know black jeans, something very basic. You would pair something like this with that just to kind of you know give people a different look. So this is a large and honestly, this looks big. This looks big for a large. This um Again, I don't know why sizes are just so foreign to so many companies and they just they just seem to make whatever up that they feel like. And I just wish they made it easier for people to shop online and know what their sizes are. But let's try it on and uh, see what we think. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, I knew it was too big and it's clearly, this is just clearly still too big. But again, I'm not gonna return this because this does fit. I just won't wear it as a shirt. What I'm actually gonna do is wear this as an over shirt. Because it's denim, this is actually, this is a pretty heavy, thicker shirt and it's got a button um, snap front. So I can actually use this as an over shirt, which is basically, it's not, it's heavier than a shirt, but it's lighter than a jacket. So in the fall, this is perfect because you would just wear this in the place of a jacket. So um, let me, let me get a different shirt and show you what I mean. Let's just say that I'm going to wear this plain gray H&M uh, t-shirt with a pair of jeans. This is something that I would wear in the summertime, but you can actually probably pair this pretty nicely with this shirt as an over shirt. And um, this is something that you can now wear in the fall, but let me show you how it works. So now I'm actually wearing this shirt as an over shirt. It's kind of acting as a jacket. Now the length is still a little bit too long. So this is something that I probably will take to the tailor and again, get the length taken up about an inch and a half. And I will also have them bring the sides in on each side. Um, because even acting as an overshirt, it's still too puffy in the waist area and under the arms. 
The, the shoulders and the arms actually fit fine. It's just too bulky down here, but honestly a tailor can fix that very quickly. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna use it sort of as an overshirt, a light jacket. Okay, next up is a button down acid wash plaid check pattern shirt. It is buttoned down, it's got buttons on the collars, which I love because it keeps them from kind of splaying out and looking stupid. This is an extra large, again, and this size looks great, whereas a large and some of the other things are just way too big. Go figure. So uh, let's try this on and see how I'm gonna wear this. I have blue denim on right now, I'm probably gonna change and do like a darker wash or black denim with this. But again, this, this shirt is so nice that I would wear a t-shirt underneath of it, but it's got black, it's got blue, it's got yellow, it's got gray. You have all those colored t-shirts probably in your uh, dresser already. So you just wear that color underneath of this. Let's try it on. So yeah, the, the material in this, it's, it's not quite a flannel, but it's definitely heavier than just a regular cotton um, shirt. And it does have this acid wash on it, so it is very soft. I really like this mustard yellow. I'm gonna wear it a lot. I have a feeling this fall and maybe winter I will wear it. Like I said, I'm wearing it with a white t-shirt, but you could wear it with a navy t-shirt or a black t-shirt or a red t-shirt. You know, all these other colors you can wear underneath of this to kind of change up the look a little bit. So next up, I have just a crew neck uh, cotton color block t-shirt. Again, this is not necessarily something for fall or winter, but I wear t-shirts all year. I'll just wear them underneath of other shirts or sweatshirts or hoodies or jackets. So I'm still gonna wear t-shirts in the fall, so I don't look at this as a problem um, ordering it right now in October. So. This is something, it's nice because a lot of my clothes are neutral and you know, just grays and whites and tans and black. So it's nice to have color. You don't want everything you wear to be so plain. So this is something that I wear with jeans, jean shorts, um, sweat shorts, that type of thing. But let's see what it looks like on. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what I thought. The fit is great. It's nice in the shoulders. It's nice in the pits. It's not too tight across the chest. The length is right. The colors, again, I like because it's also got this sort of faded look to it. So it's not so intense and bright in your face like a, like a TV screen or something. Um, but yeah, this is something I will wear a lot. So again, just like the previous t-shirt, this is another, you know, crew neck color block t-shirt, this time in just like a blue, and a green stripe, very plain, but it's still colorful, so it's gonna offset some of the um, neutral stuff that I have in my dresser. So um, let's try it on. It should fit the exact same as the previous one because it's the same brand uh, and it's the same size, but let's just double check. Yep, the fit is exactly the same. It's nice through the shoulders and in the pits and through the chest, it's fine. And this is a very common blue in denim so it's gonna match a lot of the jeans that i have in my closet so that's really nice all right guys getting down to the last of it now i know this is a long video but um i also got some tank tops for the gym i can never have too many tank tops or gym shorts for the gym and this is no exception so this is just a Berska um loose fit extra large so this is a little bit oversized but it will fit me i can already tell i like things loose in the gym i don't wear these tight tight fitting clothes at the gym. I like it loose so I can breathe um, and I get less sweaty I find when my clothing is loose. But yeah, this is just a dropped armhole tank top uh, and it's gonna look good, I know it. So yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's nice through the arms, I'm not constricted in any way. It's black so it can go with really any of the gym shorts that I have. So this is going to be in my rotation starting today. Last item, again, 
This is a dropped armhole tank top color block. You guys know I like color block now because it is uh, just a classic uh, look that's not gonna go out of style within you know a season or two. And this is something, again, that I will incorporate into my into my gym wardrobe. But honestly, the look of this, the more that I'm, I, I see it, the more I just think that this might just be more like a casual tank top that I'll wear in the spring and the summer. But let's try it on and just double check. Yep, it's got lots of room. It's nice and open in the arms. I have lots of freedom and flexibility in it. The fit is nice. The colors, again, they're kind of this sort of um, neutral tan white stripe and like a forest green on the bottom. So this is something that um, I would probably wear with neutral shorts like this. I, uh, I really like this. This was like, again, I think this was on clearance and it was like 10 bucks or something. So. Really good deal. Again, I can never have enough tank tops in my wardrobe, so thumbs up ASOS. That is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this long video, this unpacking, this try on this ASOS haul. So I, I really do like this website. Again, they have so many brands, so many looks, so many things to sell. It's very easy to shop and things get delivered within a day or two. This is not a sponsored video. Obviously, I have like I have like 10 subscribers. This is not sponsored in any way. I enjoy this website myself. I will continue to be ordering from this website. Now that I've tweaked my sort of profile, I'm a lot more confident that the stuff I'm going to buy is going to be the right size. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share it with a friend. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post lifestyle and advice videos all designed to be simple and boost your happiness and your well-being. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.